Hey guys, Brian here from the Forest Farm Project. Today we've got a leaky shower head and we're gonna show you guys how we fix it. It's just a quick and easy fix for those of you that have never tried this. For this project, all you'll need is the shower head you want to install, a roll of plumber's tape, and one or two pair of slip joint pliers depending on your application. So, here's our leaky shower head and I will demonstrate for you. I'm probably gonna get quite a, quite a bit wet. As you can see, it's running out around the sides here. When I shut it off, it starts shooting out this side. It, uh, it's just not in the best of shape. So, we are gonna put a new one in. So as you can see, this is not your standard shower stem. This one is a bit taller because I'm 6'4". This was originally a child's bathroom in the 1970s house. And when it came out, it was pointing at my chest and was basically a, a mouth spigot for me instead of a head spigot. So uh, we took this out and put the new one in that raised it up for me. So now we're going to take this shower head off and I prefer a slip joint plier that has a cutout instead of just a square jaw like your standard pair right here. This grabs a round object a lot better than this, but these will work just fine. You'll just come in wrap around the old shower head and break it free. Now this one did not have plumber's tape on it because it was a new shower head, but in case you have an older shower head, I will put plumber's tape on it to show you the process. We're gonna take a washcloth and just make sure it's dry. There's no debris in the grooves anywhere. Nothing that would cause you to get a bad seal. We're just gonna clean it up a little bit so your plumber's tape is just a simple plastic roll you'll find on the plumber's aisle at any of your big box uh, home improvement stores. It's about a dollar a roll and it's just a thin Teflon tape. Nothing to it. So what you want to do is start this wrapping in a clockwise direction, the same direction that you're going to be turning the shower head on. You want to keep it snug so that the grooves are pulled tight through the tape. You don't want it just bunching up under there and you want to do about three wraps to give you a good seal. And then just pull and it pops loose. Okay, so this is the shower head we're going to be installing. This is a Delta uh, soap up shower head. And what that means is when you, once you've wet yourself down in the shower, you just push this pin. It cuts the water flow off pretty much, not always exactly off, but for the most part, it cuts the water off and that will save on your water bill, save on your power bill from heating the hot water. If you have a lot of people in your household that use a lot of water, this is a two gallon per minute shower head or two and a half gallon per minute shower head. So it's not one of those big wasteful shower heads that are in a lot of houses. And if you have a teenager that uses up all the hot water, you put something like this in, they're not, they're not gonna waste all of your hot water and you'll still have some left. Or if you have a significant other that likes to waste hot water, this will save you a lot of money and a lot of hot water. So now that that's wrapped up, let's install it. So again, I put plumber's tape on here just for demonstration. We didn't have to do it because this is a fairly new stem, but on an older one, it may be corroded and this may be just enough to save you from having to replace your stem and it will give you a secure seal. This has a rubber washer on the inside so it will seal up nicely regardless. So all we do is get lined up, get it started, and depending on your hand strength, I work with my hands every day. I don't really need a pair of pliers to tighten this up, but if you need them, use them. And now let's turn this bad boy on and see what happens. Shuts the water off. As you can see, there's plenty of water flow and it's got great pressure. I hope this helps encourage those of you that have never done anything like this and shows you just how easy it is to do. One bit of advice is don't stand in front of a shower, if you want to pan down, don't stand in front of it when you're doing this because my pants are a little wet now. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys watching. Hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell next to the subscribe button for notifications when we post some new videos. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter and we got lots more to come. Thanks for watching guys.